Look at the way the world is now. Do you believe the Bible is the unchanged word of God? Then why would you reference that? Well, I believe everything that's being said is coming true now. Mm. People, so, people are turning against the, the turning against whatever morality you look at. They're turning against it, and mm. I believe that the, the devil is very much prevalent. What's going on in the world now? No, I agree, and a hundred percent agree. I've, I've seen the signs of these things, like you've said. Um, but before we start affirming the devil and so on and so forth, let's establish God. Who is God? What does God want from us? The names and attributes of God. How can we recognize God? That's why I said, do you believe the Bible is the unchanged word of God or from God? Um, then we can see actually, all right, what meaning are we deriving from the Bible? Because we need a source. So my source is the Quran. So if you believe the Bible has got elements which is true and it's been preserved, then let's reference it. If you believe that it's got elements of truth, but there's elements that's been man-made. Some parts have been misinterpreted. Then let's go to a book that there's no doubt, which is the Quran. Because I actually slip of the tongue. I said, do you believe the Bible is from God? The Bible doesn't even claim to be from God. The Bible doesn't even claim that God's going to protect it. The Quran claims it's from God and God will protect it. And we've actually preserved it in a university in Birmingham. There's chapters of the Quran in a museum in University in Birmingham and you can actually Google it. BBC done an article on it and it's been carbon dated to the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who is a, the final prophet we believe. He was an illiterate man but there he's got a revelation that has tested, the t um, survived the test of time. So it talks about Science gets it right, talks about history, gets it right. It makes prophecies, it gets it right. It's got a complete way of living and there's no contradictions in it. And even the Quran, um, when you read into it, um, nine, nine verses into the Quran, it says a book where there's no doubt. In other verses it says there's no crookedness, there's no mistakes in it, there's no kind of thing. Because the Quran is from God, so he's making the claim, bold claims. Now look, there's no mistakes in it. Um, so I'm saying, now, what is the Qur'an teaching? Yeah. Do you believe Jesus Christ is God or do you believe he's sent by God? That's a difficult one. I'm not, a, I'm not a very good practicing Catholic, to be honest, so I should be. But then let me retract my question. What do you believe, madam? I believe there is a God. I the agree, there's yeah, a God. There is, there is a God. Did how, that... how, do, how do things like the plants, the trees, the seeds, how is that all created? By the sun. Yeah. We need to get going, but, but, but the sun, what created the sun? Oh. Touche. Yeah. There you go. So yeah. I'm saying that we should worship the one that put all this into creation because you said about the plants and the sun. Yeah. The way they work in such partnership and photosynthesis takes place and so on and yeah, so yeah, forth yeah. is science for the believers that look, there is a creator, there is a designer. So I'm saying that look, what does that creator want from us? And how did that creator communicate with us? Because you said you believe in creator. I agree. Now, did that creator create us purposelessly? Right now, you've worn a jacket. Yeah? There's a thought behind it. There's a purpose behind that. Right? You, what you're wearing, um, how you decide to dress. Um, you eat food for energy. Um, you sleep for rest. Yeah? Everything you do, there's a purpose behind it. And you're saying God created the universe purposelessly. And I'm saying God, Allah, is beyond our example. And God creates us with a purpose, like I said previously, told us that purpose through a perfect scripture, through prophets and messengers. Now, what is preventing you from actually taking a moment to acknowledge the message? Because you said you've got a Quran at home, right? Yeah, you've yeah, been I given have, a Quran. Yeah, 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 have you read it? I will try, but it's quite heavy going, I'll have to try yeah, and no, get I my head down to it. Yeah, I haven't heard that to read it properly. I yeah. mean, to be honest, I haven't read my Bible, so, you know. Because mm. oh, is good. it? Yeah. I know the Bible. You're, you're saying your Bible, but then okay, you're saying you don't, you don't even know what you believe. Exactly. Does that make sense? Because yeah. I'm happy to reference the Bible and actually say that, look, the Prophet Muhammad, 
um, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, David, Noah, and all the prophets in between, right? They all came with one and consistent same message, peace be upon all of them, yeah. that there's only one God. Worship that one God truly, yeah. with all your heart, all your might, for salvation. And whoever follows the commandments will enter paradise, yeah. and the ones who don't. So I'm saying, so there's a consistent message, but then we haven't even bothered to actually connect with the message or the commandments. Because what is Moses? He taught Ten Commandments. What's the first commandment? No. Come on, sir. Yeah, in the Bible. You will, you will not have another God outside myself. That's right. So oh, you have another God. The one and only. Exactly. So it's talking about oneness of God. Jesus Christ was asked, but what is the grace? Yeah. But the commandments, I don't know about that. What do you believe, sir? Myself. Yeah. <laughs> A man who believes in himself, now, you'd be surprised, you're laughing. I, I hear this often. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. like you believe in yourself. So now, did you create yourself? No. Because the Quran makes the argument saying that, look. Yeah, I don't create myself, I create ideas. So I'm a creator as well. You create ideas, but you didn't create the universe. You no. don't have control over such things. So I'm saying the one who's all powerful, the one that created the universe, should be worshipped, should be I understood, mean, should be obeyed. I want to create the universe. The universe has always been there. The human being always think about this a start and a finish. You know, you know the point you just made about the universe always being there. There's not a single scientist that holds that position. Also, Everyone is of the opinion. It's been created either. They're saying it has a beginning. No. So Big Bang oh, the theory. Big Bang, there's a pulse. Yeah. The Big Bang theory. No, no, that, that, that's fine, but has the universe been created, yes or no? It's always been there. It's always been there. What's yeah. the evidence of it? Huh? What's the evidence for that? What, what's the evidence that it's been created? Hmm? You, the you, you made created? the claim. Yeah. I, can, I can provide my evidence, but I'm saying the leading um, yes, experts in some, science... It's always been there. That means it's always been there. But you're backing it for what? Scientists or your opinion? My opinion. I'm entitled to. You're entitled to your opinion, by sir. I'm qualified opinion, sir. <laughs> Would you respect? But you're entitled to it, and I respect you I, to have I your. I respect your your shirt. Yeah. That's yeah. All yeah. I like it. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, thanks a lot. We thank you so go. much. Yeah. No, no, thank you. Appreciate that. Inshallah. <laughs> and don't give up. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Me, I'm a, I'm a funny man. Don't worry about no, that. No, but no, but no. why should I give up? Because. If, no, if it's not good enough for you, yeah. why is it good I, enough I, for me to I, preach I, it? I, yeah, I because we are different. I see, we see a lot of like Christians and, and, and I said to them, you know what, people laugh and mock them. And I listen. say, listen, I respect anyone that talks about God, whatever mm. way you believe in God. Listen. I yeah. respect people that do it because, yeah. you know, you're going to get people that are going to ridicule you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Muslims always get a bad press of it. I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're a terrorist, you're this, you're that. Listen, yeah. listen. tell him how many times I say uh, I went against the Muslims. You've never gone against the Muslims. Never, never. Yeah, never. Yeah. Mm. Suck it. So, yeah. They don't believe that. Oh, then, the then don't why don't you be be a Muslim then? Oh, oh. Uh, I'll you tell you what, no, no. I'm Catholic, so. No, uh, well, I was born in Rome anyway. Listen to me. There's yeah. a Greek philosopher who once said yeah. religion is true for the common people, false for the wise men. You use for politicians. Now, you know Greek philosophers, yeah? And I'm saying that, look, it's good that to... That was Seneca. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But so what, what, what does that mean, by the way? That means, let me don't believe in this religion. Whatever it is. Let me believe it's false. Some wise men, they've got a better idea, they think it's false. Nothing wrong with that. And some clever men use a religion to divide and rules. Now, you're quoting a philosopher, yeah. right? And I'm quoting, and I, I live by a man who was divinely inspired. Now, you know everything I'm saying? These are bold statements. No. Divinely inspired, perfect book. No. How easy is it to disprove the Quran? If you find a single contradiction, then reject it. Does that make sense? I will reject it myself because God is perfect. The scripture from God is perfect. The message from God is perfect. So we need to submit to that rather than following our own desires. Because right now, you know, when people live their lives, right? They do what they think subjectively is good, what they think will make them happy. But long term, it leads to unhappiness. True or not? You're nodding your head, you're nodding your head. And I'm saying, God Almighty, who's perfect, knows what's good for us. So let's follow what God wants from us. Because right now, we make these assumptions and 
moral judgments and stuff like that. And the best example, my favorite example I like to use is people in China. They'll eat stillborn babies. Is there anything wrong with that? Eat stillborn babies? Yeah. Never heard of. Yeah, they do. I heard. Oh, I that's, 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 that's study, study that. Study that in uni in uh, criminology. No, no, in criminology. So the fact of the matter is, re do your own research. Does that make sense? You can you can purchase you can purchase. I don't want to advertise it, but manga cartoons that depicts um, child pornography, violence towards children. The the, the brand is, is in China. So I'm saying that. We see this as wrong. I see this as wrong. But what? in China, it's perfectly fine. Yeah? There's other things I can pick out in this country and so on and so forth. But I'm saying, look, God Almighty is the ultimate decider of what is right and wrong. Because right now, God is the only objective truth and the legislator. Because everything else is subjective. Because depending on the time, depending on when we live, the environment we live in, the country we live in, our moral code will change. Because it's like, let's be good. How do I be good? Let's be nice people. How do I be nice people? I'm saying God decides because God has legislated, has told us. There's a gentleman, I was speaking to him, um, and he said, I'm a nice person. I was riding my, he was on a bicycle, I'm riding my bicycle, I saw an elderly lady, she was pram, kind of broke with the wheel, I fixed it. I'm such a good person. I go, are you really? What have you done to protect that lady from hellfire? What have you done to support that lady and help her to get paradise and earn the happiness of God, the pleasure of God? So I'm saying that is what defines good. And Allah is saying, look, the ones who call him to righteousness, to patience, to these good things defined in the Quran are the righteous and the good people. And now let's take that guidance from the perfect scripture. Let's take that from the perfect lifestyle given, shown, by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You guys haven't taken the moment to actually study his lifestyle. He came 1400 years ago, now the fastest growing religion in the world. People in America, people in Europe are embracing Islam, two thirds of which are women in the West embracing Islam. How could this man, you know the most popular name in the world is Muhammad, yeah, followed by Mary, I like that name by the way. Yeah. And yeah, as Muslims, we affirm Mary. We call her Maryam. Maryam, yes. We have an entire chapter of the Quran named after her. Yeah. So I'm saying that, look, why are we not following this guidance? Why are we not actually taking the time? Because, again, if what I've said is wrong. We Muslims aren't saying we don't believe in Jesus. We do believe in Jesus. We believe he is a prophet. We never ever said we don't believe in him. He does exist. He will exist. And um, we, we've never ever denied that. Yeah, but like our claim, deny that Muhammad is... our claim is, he's a mighty messenger sent by God. He's not God. Nowhere in the entire Bible does it say, "I am God." Okay. Worship me, Jesus Christ. No. Yeah. Well, Jesus Christ in the Old Testament, is never mentioned. In the Old Testament, even in the New Testament. Yeah? Well, the New Testament was made by um, uh, some fools anyway. Did you say Saint Paul or some fools? I don't know. <laughs> so, ha, ha, you were very responsive to us saying, What's your name, by the way, madam? Ailey. 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 Ridwan. 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 So, yeah, so... Madam, how do you feel about what I've said? Because you seem very responsive, you're nodding your head along. Yeah, no, you make a lot of points. I mean, yeah, to be honest... Yeah, you make a lot of points. You make a lot thank of you, thank you. points, and I, I say I respect that you're here doing this because sitting before you're going to get a lot of people that would say, oh, yeah, you know, Muslims get bad, bad press, so... But how, how, how has it benefited you? What's, what's the takeaway from this? You're going to read the Quran. I will try at least you know read what, I haven't even read the Quran, let alone someone like her. But then you need to, madam, because the thing is... I know, I know I need to. Even we try and read something, like instead of saying, instead of watching television. Exactly. She watched television, I read books. Yeah. So I'm saying that, look, the best book to read is the Quran, and um, see, see if it appeals to you. But I think the main thing is, I'm going to let you go, the last point I want to make is, 
do you believe innately that God creator Allah who created us deserves to be worshipped that we should give our servitude us um, worship to the one and thanks to the one who created us because that's that's what Islam is calling you to but but should we worship something because the fact of the matter is we are if we're not worshiping the creator then we're creating the worshiping the job we have the woman in our life our husband our wife our children money and i'm saying look those are, are things that are not healthy to be chased does that make sense and islam comes with a complete life lifestyle where it's teaching you how to treat your children how to treat your parents how to treat your wife um, the prophet muhammad 1400 years ago in a gathering between men um, he's saying the best amongst you are the ones who are the best to his, their wives. Um, he, 1400 years ago, you can search it up. He's actually sent me videos before. Yeah. He's saying how women should be treated like sexes above everything. They should be up here with you. Mothers, sisters. Yeah. Uh, Even the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was asked, What's, um, Who should I give my most companionship to? Your mother. He replied, Your mother. Who next? Your mother. Who next? Your mother. Who next? Your father. So the rank, the rank is given there, but the thing is, we're not, we're not taking from that. So we're not, we're not, we don't know how to treat women in our lives. We don't, we don't know the sanctity and the importance of getting married. We don't know the importance of um, how to raise our children, how to run a state. So it makes sense. Down to how to cut our nails and how to wash ourselves when we come out of the bathroom. You're like, oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. No, it's not. I say we, I'm proud of it because it's a complete way of life. From about cleansiness, about, you know what I mean? So I'm like, look, God Almighty, the one who's created us, knows best of how we should live. So why don't we go back to that? Rather than following our desires, where in, it's not gonna make us happy. Why have we got such a rise of people um, with depression? Why are rich people committing suicide? If money made you happy, why are rich people committing suicide? And my theory, this is my hypothesis, sir, my hypothesis is, poor people, like I consider myself poor, in a worldly sense, um, we chase money, thinking it's going to make us happy, and then once you have money, there's still a void, and you're still like, unhappy, and you think to yourself, why is this? And you spend all that time chasing money, chasing money, chasing money, and then realise, wait, I'm still not happy. And I'm saying, that void can only be filled by connecting with the one who created us worshipping the one who created us and then you get salvation and you get happiness and it's like salvation that's a big word i'm like look i'm referencing the quran the quran is a perfect unchanged word of god 80 percent of it has been proven 100 percent correct the other 20 percent is ambiguous when it talks about judgment day when it talks about angels when it talks about these things where you can't neither prove it or disprove it so logic dictates that the remaining 20 percent must be true. Make tracks. I will follow your tracks. Yeah. See you later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You take care.